Hi guys. I uh, I'm just gonna go through a DPF pressure sensor on a, an Audi A5. Just to show you these things are different. I may have done a DPF on another car, but let's do a DPF on this one and then we can compare it with other videos as well. So here we go, we get started here. I will show you where we are. This is my sensor here. Okay, at the back of the engine. So there's a GPS pressure sensor with three wires. Okay. So I'm on pin number one. And pin number one. Look and see what pin number one will give us. Five volts. Okay, so that's a permanent five volt reference on pin number one. You take note of that. Then I'll go to pin number two and then three. Okay. This is pin number two. We got five volts in pin number one. So look at that. That's 0 0.427. And so no, notice something here. Uh, this is our ground. It's it's not reading zero. You know you've got numbers there. Okay? If you just read zero completely, then you know you have got an open. Alright? You know you have got an open. So, uh, that's pin number three. We have a volt. One volt. Okay? That is young man. Right, one volt is what we have. Uh, I'm doing this for so that you can have comparisons. I'm getting a lot of questions as to what the DPF pressure sensor should be. I'm getting a lot of those. Uh, yes, manufacturers can be different, but one volt at ID seems to be. Uh, across the range i will show you on another model again this is an a5 okay this is an audi a5 so one volt seems to be across the range so what what i want to do here is to rev the engine maybe to 2500 and then let's see what happens to that uh, sensor To me, this is a clean DPF. Um, there is nothing wrong with it, um, uh, and there is nothing using this video as a good one. Uh, and if you are looking for results of a good sensor, this is one that you can actually use if you are working on an Audi A5. Use this one as a good one. I've read it to 2,500, even slightly more than that, and you saw that the volt voltage went to about 1.1 thereabout volts okay uh, this thing has got a limiter uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do as many as as I can of these so that because I know one of my subscribers was talking about a Reynolds uh, and it was showing 0 0.43 uh, I didn't want to jump to conclusion I was trying to get him some information from the dealership uh, but looking at that, the voltage to me seems very low, okay? And I'm thinking, is it the sensor that is actually a problem in this case? I don't know. Uh, but looking at it, the voltage that he gave me is 0 0.43. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, forget his name, but if you are listening, my, my opinion is that that voltage is low. Uh, I'm not quite sure. That's why I was trying to uh, get some information from the dealership. I was shocked. 
someone, one of my students telling me that no, I can't get that information, there was nothing in our budget, uh oh. So there you go, um, I hope these videos do help you. Uh, I'll keep them coming, sometimes I'm working to, you know, to about late at night, that's why you find sometimes I'm not posting videos, but look forward to more at this stage. Um, please do comment, send us some comments and let us know, we really appreciate. We have noticed that uh, about 900 and something people, 92% 92 sorry, I was jumping on a few but like 92% of people who watch our videos, they are not they are not subscribing, please. And I beg you, um, please subscribe. You don't realize how much that helps us. It encourages us, you know, to be working hard and also to see people responding, you know, with love and showing us likes and subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate your your your, your uh, participation uh, on this channel and the help that you have given us from day one. We are just newbies, you know, on YouTube, but already, you know, we are beginning to make some noise. A, a few people are getting, happy, you know, really happy with what we are doing. So, please, 95%, that's a big number. Come on, boys and girls, please subscribe. We'll appreciate you. Thank you very much. So I've got um, DPF pressure sensor data that I just want to leave with you so that you can make comparisons when you are working on a car. So this is when the ignition key is on. Uh, you can see that in, in terms of uh, cubic meters per, per hour, we have got zero, f zero, zero flow, but in terms of the differential pressure, uh, in millibars, we have got one one millibar there, and then in terms of voltage, we actually have one volt. Okay, so uh, I will run. You watch these figures. I will run the engine uh, at idling, and then I'm gonna rev the engine at 2,500. You know, just to show you the different stages. And then you look out to the changes in figures. I'm going to rev the engine to 2,500. So this is a clean DPF, uh, there is nothing wrong, I don't have any lights, I don't have uh, a manual from, let me check out where it is, it's looking for updates, oh dear, can we do this later, please, right, so, I, I have no lights, nothing, this car is working fine so to me this is what I do that's how I create my manuals then I can go back and if the issues this their issues I go back and make comparison and do some comparisons so that's why I do this you may wonder you know why is he giving us this data I'm actually giving you this data because sometimes it is hard to get okay it's not easy to get the data. You can use it now and compare with your own car. Let's see if it's going to be of help to you. Look, I just want to make a short video. I don't want to keep on rumbling here. Please consider to subscribe onto our channel. As I have been saying that 95, 93% of people 
that are actually watching our content some of them um, all of them 93 percent haven't subscribed please remember to subscribe and give us you know your help we appreciate all the help that you have given us thank you very much